Hello scrappers. So today I will work on these two boards. Look at them. I mean it's telecom high grade covered with ICs. I mean that's something definitely worth scrapping. They're not they're not heavy at all. But they have so many ICs on top, four-sided, memory, BGAs. Uh, same is here. So if you count them, you have seven BGAs here, you have 11 BGAs. So question is, what's the weight of these 11 BGAs? Can I get one gram of gold from them? You have crystals, you have crystal oscillators, you have tantalum capacitors, you have so many interesting things on top of these boards. Let's look for MLCCs. Yes, they're covered with MLCCs. Really small ones, but, but there are so many. Maybe it's worth removing one gram of them. I usually don't go for these small ones, but let's check. So, how I depopulate this type of boards? I usually remove the big BGAs with a chisel. Sometimes they break, sometimes they come easily. So let's check from different sides. So this one broke. It's really bad. So this one comes on pieces, on small pieces. Which is something not nice, but let's check with, with, with others. Same story. So all these BGAs will come on pieces from this tricom. This one is a little bit better. <laughs> not so many pieces. Let's try the last one on this series here. And this is about the BGAs. So you can see, sometimes I remove them in one piece, sometimes I remove them on pieces, but it doesn't matter because finally what I need is this black ceramics on top. And this black ceramics is my gold. So it really doesn't matter if you break them or not. Do it quickly, efficiently, and don't waste your time. What else I will remove? This is too small. Go to the chisel again. Here you go. Just stockpile this. Not that much inside. I will remove all these tantalums. Don't ask me why. No one is buying them in my country. But someday tantalum may do the same as uh, palladium did. Who knows? It may go from 50 US dollars per kilogram to 1000 and then uh, I mean as you see it takes a couple of seconds to remove each of them and what about this uh, four-sided I usually remove the four-sided cutting them let me show you I cut them like this because it's really easy I mean it's, there's no effort in this and then you just easily remove it like this so, what I will do, I will remove everything here that you see on this board. I will do the same with this board and let's measure the weight of the BGAs, of the four-sided ICs, of the memory chips and let's see how much we can get from these two boards. I will show you for the memory chips just quickly how I remove them. I use the same knife. So it's like this, takes one second and it's really easy. Okay, let's speed up now and let's see what we'll recover from this board when we clean it up.
Oh guys, so what is left at the end? I have just the boards here and there, small LCCs, and this huge RG45. I I will not touch them. I'm sorry, but there is nothing. I'm sorry. For the gold that is here, no one can prove. I I, I have to process them. So that's the final result. And here in these ones, you have copper. So no need to touch these ones. You just have copper inside. Okay, let's go now to what we recovered. Uh, hop. Let's check first these four sided chips. Seem interesting to me because they are quite fat. They are quite fat and usually they give a good gold yield. One more big one. And here coming to small ones. 41 grams of this, 42 grams of this fat four sided ICs. I, I suggest I'll have a good gold content here. But let's check now the memory ones. I will try to arrange them on top. Like this. 13 grams of memory chips. They're also good for gold recovery. Let's put them aside. And maybe the most interesting. These BGAs. Bow Grid RA chips. Let's put this watch glass here, zero it, and let's check what we have. That, that was really clever to put them in a way. So 40 grams. Okay, in total 100 grams of ICs from two boards. And I can tell you that only in these ones I will have no less than 0.4 grams of gold. So, if you count by today's prices, 25 US dollars here. Only on these two boards, or only from these BGAs, 25 US dollars. And probably another 10 US dollars in the others. So, 35 US dollars are sitting here from these two scrap boards. And they're really, 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 really light. They are not heavy. It is less than one kilogram. So if you, even if you buy these ports for 10 US dollars, you still can get something like 40 US dollars, 30, between 30 and 40, which is good. So what else we have inside? We have these small uh, tantalums. I'll just put them here just to, just to check what is the weight, a couple of grams, 8.5 grams of tantalums. It just adds, I'm stockpiling them, no one is buying them in my country, so I just keep them. Uh, what else? We have these MLCCs. Look at them. I mean, they were clearly indicated as capacitors with C, but the color is really strange and they're not magnetic. So probably they're really good ones or they're really bad ones. I don't know, but I'll keep them. These were the only MLCCs with reasonable size to collect. We also have these chips. They are mixed content, let's say it in this way, at about 10 grams. So from these two boards, we ended up with more than 100 grams of high seas. And definitely we have gold for, I mean, I believe we have at least 0.6 grams of gold here, which is 30, 35 US dollars at least. And we are not counting this beauty that goes just in the pile and we don't count these small ones with the gold. So with the crystals and crystal oscillators, as I said, just keep them, stockpile them. Processing, it's not easy, takes time, but probably there'll be time when it will work doing it. So guys, that's the final result. From two boards, more than 0.6 grams of gold, definitely. I find it really good result. Thanks for watching, keep scrapping, and don't forget to recover the gold at the end.